Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. Overnight temperatures in the mid-70s, partly cloudy skies, courtesy of some of the clouds blowing in off the mountains of Mexico. Otherwise, a fairly nice but muggy kind of night. Saturday will be fairly warm and humid, 92 degrees as a high, partly cloudy skies. The upper valley could see a late evening to overnight shower or thunderstorm if some of that action can survive off the mountains of Mexico to make it into the upper valley. Southeast winds 15 to 20 miles an hour throughout the day. If the clouds don't blot it out, you get a chance to see the super moon. Uh, about 1034, it will peak. It's 14% bigger and 30% brighter. It sounds like a laundry detergent ad. And then you've got the moon itself as it's in that oval-shaped orbit coming closer to the Earth. And as it does so, as a full moon, that's what makes it a super moon. Not that it's come closer. It does that a lot because that's the orbit. But it's when it does it as a full moon, then it's a super moon. Uh, Futurecast takes you through the next couple of days, as I said, with that opportunity for something to spill out of the mountains of Mexico toward the upper valley for Saturday evening. And then on Sunday, pretty much to repeat with southeast breezes 15 to 20, partly cloudy skies, warm and humid. And again, the threat of showers and thunder showers coming out of the mountains of Mexico. Next week, we have a frontal boundary. Well, we have a frontal boundary that will do one of two things. It will either stall out over South Texas and act as a focal point for showers and thunderstorms to develop north of the valley. And then those shower and thunderstorm bits will push out energy that we'll call an outflow boundary that could come on down to the valley. So we would get kind of a secondary shot of showers and thunder showers off and on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. This front could also just pass right on down through the valley. So we'll keep an eye on it. It's kind of far off to really pin down beyond that because we're so late in the frontal season. You know, when you're in prime frontal passage season, it's easier to kind of pin down how they'll pass through. But, you know, this is on the cusp. So we need to uh, keep our cards close to the vest and wait and see how this front pans out through the forecast models over the course of the weekend. But again, it does look like it will at the very least be in the neighborhood so it will give us that increased chance for showers, uh, certainly on Wednesday, but if it stalls out, perhaps a couple days extra. That would be a good thing. And there's your high temperatures as well. Uh, responding to added clouds and whatnot, perhaps a shift in winds, high temperatures near the upper 80s instead later next week. That's a look at your 24-7 forecast.